Okay, here is my manometer, you can see. It's four bottles of water in them and I just tie them together. Now, the core of this design is that you don't care what the actual levels in the bottles are, because you're not measuring inches of mercury or water or anything. You're measuring uh, relative pressure to the other bottles. This is accomplished by these tubes, which flow down here into the liquid. They're all interconnected within one loop here that goes around to the other side you can see. In effect this creates a reservoir um, and all these bottles fluid now is interconnected. Also uh, you don't want any air in these lines here um, just so that you're dealing with the maximum uh, amount of sensitivity. Now the good part about this design is that uh, even if say all of the fluid were transferred to bottle one you can see from the vol volume of fluid what would happen is it would get high enough that one of these tubes would then go dry and start sucking air and you never ever will then get fluid sucked up into your engine. Now you can see where I've got them connected here now um, in each of the vacuum ports on the engine. Now you'll notice some discoloration here on this one, um, I haven't used this for a while, and the last time I ran it, it turns out I had a, uh, a bad plug in cylinder number four, so apparently I was sucking in uh, a lot of gas or something, and it discolored this, this tube. That would be my guess. Okay, uh, now we'll start it up and see how she works. Now with it running, you can see Cylinder 3 has the lowest amount of vacuum. Cylinder 1 has the highest. We're starting to fill up. Now we've sucked air in. And now basically we are in no danger whatsoever of pulling any liquid into our tubes. I'll make an adjustment to reduce the vacuum on number 1. And then we'll restart this because you want to sink to the cylinder with the lowest vacuum, which is number three. So that means we want to open up cylinder number one. Now again, if you had the situation where one of your bottles has been sucked dry, uh, basically all you need to do is go either go to one of the other ones um, and blow, pull its tube and blow so that it starts filling up number three, or go to number three and you can. Uh, start sucking on it and it'll start pulling. That's probably the easiest way. Uh, go grab number three's tube, just stick it in your mouth and suck till it's pulled all the air out of the, the reservoir tube here and uh, things are at least somewhat level again.
Okay, this is the final run. Um, it looks like everything's synchronized. One thing to remember is it is extremely sensitive to changes. So just tightening down the lock nuts, I found, is, is enough to throw your sink back off. So we'll start it up again and we can see what it's doing. You really just want the slightest amount of movement of all relative. No one majorly worse than the others. And you can see four is just a little bit strong, but if I go try and adjust that, I'm, I'm just going to make things worse. So that's not so bad. Um, the real test would be to see how close this is against, say, a, uh, a carb tune um, or some other factory tool manometer. But uh, I think this is pretty darn close, and we'll see how it rides.